Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Ranisha, and I'm back with this look here. I am so in love with this look. It kind of gave me the Stacy McDonald vibes, but let's get into it. First, I'm gonna start off with priming my eyes, and I always use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You can use any concealer that you wanna use, but I'm just taking this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to pat this and smear it all over my eyes until it's nice and even. Then I'm gonna take this fluffier brush. I got this brush set from Amazon. And I'm just gonna use this brush to just blend out the edges and make sure that everything is even more flat and ready to be primed. Not primed, but set, that's the word. <laughs> Then I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier translucent powder on another fluffy brush out of that same brush kit that I got from Amazon. And I'm just gonna use this brush to basically set the base. Taking the shade Fortune Cookie by ColourPop and I'm going to use this on a Morphe brush and I'm just going to mostly try and concentrate all my colors on the outer portion of the eye as you can see, I'm patting and doing little circular motions on the outer V, just blending out. And then I'm just gonna build that color up until, you know, it's done. Then I'm gonna take the shade Seize the Day. It's another ColourPop shadow and I'm gonna add that. Then I'm gonna take this shade from Suva Beauty. It's the shade Hookah. And I'm gonna use this also on the outer V area of the eye and once I have less product on my brush I'm swiping it into the inner eye. Taking the shade Americano from Makeup Geek I'm going to use this on a more tapered Morphe brush and I use this brown shade because I didn't want to use black because black can be a little harsh. I wanted it to be dark but I didn't want it to be black so I used this brown shade and it worked perfectly. As you can see, I've only used two brushes so far. I used the M433 and the M411. And now I'm gonna take this NYX concealer brush and the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to use this to cut the crease as usual. Taking the Morphe 35C palette, I'm gonna take this peach shade and I'm just going to tap that in on the lid. And I think I'm gonna take this shade halfway and then I'm gonna take this fuchsia shade out of that same 35C palette and I'm going to add that at the end of where that peach shade stops. And I'm just using the other side of that Urban Decay brush. And then I'm going to use the, this two purple shades at the end of that um, palette and I'm just gonna fill in any blank space. And then I'm gonna take that M4133 brush and I'm just going to smudge out that brown, brown, not browned. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this NYC liquid liner. I'm trying to finish this tube off. I tell you, this is like the gift that just keeps on giving because when I think it's done, it got a little more drops in and I'm definitely not trying to waste my coin and I'm trying to use every single little drop in this container before I toss it out the damn door. <laughs> Then it's time for complexion. I did a little bit on camera and then I really was like, I don't want to show them guys the face routine all over again because I do it in every, sometimes every video, but I just prime with the Fenty, Fenty primer and then I'm color correcting because I have dark circles and I'm trying to get rid of those dark circles. The line across my nose and the mustache area and any dark spots or any bruises or whatever I have on my face, not bruises, but you know, hyperpigmentations. So um, that's what I'm doing. And then for the foundation, I use the Fenty Foundation in 420. 
and I'm just using that on a flat kabuki brush that I got from Sigma and I'm just gonna dab that all over my face dabbing it first because I don't want to disturb the um, color corrector voila my base is done <laughs> now it's time for a highlighter I took the Gerard cosmetic cosmetics um, highlighter in Lucy and I'm adding that to the inner corner of my eye for lips I took the shade watermelon soda and the shade new beach I placed that in the middle of my lips after I put watermelon soda all over then I added new beach in the middle to kind of give it an ombre effect and then what I did not show on camera is I added the ColourPop Ellery liner um, and then I just lined my lips to make everything come together because I'm a, I have very big lips full lips and I need a liner so I lined it at the end with the Ellery liner and I smudged it out with a lip brush this is the final look I hope you guys enjoy this look I hope you guys like this I mean who doesn't like pink I love pink and purple together and I really like the way this came out if you guys like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button because if you do not hit that bell the way YouTube is setting their, up their timelines, <laughs> you will not see my videos. So hit the bell when you subscribe. Mwah.